everyone how all are you i hope that you all would be fit and fine and doing great in your life and you would be very happy and healthy in your life so today i have to discuss about how can we talk in english very confidently and very smoothly so i will tell you six golden rules about how can we talk in english like we are native speakers of english so let's just go ahead i have written some not some it's only six rules here that you if you would implement this rules only in your life then no one can no one can uh, no one can stop you by being an englishman so let's just start the first rule is speak in english i have written here speak in english so what does that mean guys look what happens if we are in a condition like when we are afraid or when we are happy what we generally try to do we just go for shortcut like if i have to explain someone something what i what would i do i would try to explain that person in hindi no guys that's the biggest problem which we ever do because if we go for shortcut nothing will go in our mind because you all know that everything comes with the hard work no shortcut gonna work in your life so don't go for shortcut speak with your partner with your uh, friends in english nothing matter whether you are afraid or whether you are in, you are in such a condition in which you cannot even uh, imagine or you cannot tell that person in hindi even then try to speak in english that's the first rule of learning english let us come on second rule that is ignore the people guys uh, for example i i i went somewhere in a wedding where i used to talk in english but what happened someone laughed at my english then what would happen now from then i would get i would hesitate to speak in english but guys this is the biggest mistake if i am doing that would be very very biggest mistake ignore those people who are making your fun because they would laugh at you at one day they would laugh at you at two day at they would laugh at you at at third day but they wouldn't laugh at you when you would become a speaker which is very much confident and which is very much good in english so don't go for that guys don't feel ashamed or agitated when you spoke english not correct because you uh, for example let's just take another example you have all seen a child a very small child like one year and one and half year what they do they just scroll first on their knees and sometimes they fell down but but uh, do they ever say that mama i wouldn't try anymore because it hurts my knees is this happens no they try again and again and again and again and what happens we saw a, a very naughty child which is who is roaming here and there in every corner of our home this is exactly the same with the english guys if we use our english in every day in day to day movement movement then we would get the master of english so let us move ahead and we have uh, our third point now now don't think what the people are saying just ignore the people or don't think about them like if uh, if i said something wrong for a moment like uh, for example there's discussion is going on uh, we have uh, we have some people's like here me here my friend aksha here there my friend kiran there uh, every person is there and we are going discuss something and what happened there was nothing i just said reluctantly what was coming in my mind okay after then what happened aksha or kiran was not angry uh, agree with me then what would happen i would try to think that i was wrong now what would happen uh, would they both the girl mine mind my language or mind my words what i said no no one mind your things uh, until or unless you didn't hurt them 
सो जस्ट ट्राई टू बी मोर एंथोसिस्टिक मोर हैप्पी और डोंट डू नॉट ट्राई टू हर्ट एनी वन बिकॉज इफ यू ट्राई इफ यू हर्ट एनी वन देन इट विल इम्पैक्ट इट विल क्रिएट नेगेटिव एनर्जी सराउंड यू ओनली एंड यू वुड नॉट फील कैन बी हैप्पी सो बट द इसेंस ऑफ द स्टोरी बट आई हैव टेल यू दैट डू डू नॉट ओवर थिंक अबाउट द पीपल बिकॉज इट इट ऑलवेज लेट यू डाउन so let us move ahead we have our fourth topic fourth point that is think in english for being good in, in english what we have to do we have to think in english like uh, sometimes what happens when i i just think something in my mind uh, it goes in hindi but when i realized that i am using hindi in my mind i instruct my mind don't don't do this i have to think in english then i started to think in english so uh it is making somehow it is making me good in english so i have to say uh, i have to say this only try to think in english if you are if your mind is using hindi in your mind as well try to stop your mind and become english not for just showing the people become for yourself because you want to learn that language be that now let us move ahead we have our next learn one vocab every day so yeah like uh what happens you all have heard about the story of crow and a pot okay so what happened the crow was very thirsty and there was a pot the water in the pot was very very low very uh, very little so what the crow thought he thought let me just put some pebbles into inside the pot then what would happen the water would get rise up then i would drink the water and get flew happily so exactly the crow did and exactly same happened with the water and with the pot so was that uh, is there any lesson in that story of course there was a lesson in that story because if you if you would learn every day a vocab like for example i would tell you a vocab today like fantasy do you know the meaning of fantasy it's fantasy means apni hi duniya mein rehne wala ya kalpana karna that is the new word for you i am damn sure because it was a new word for me as well uh twice or three days before but i learned that so it was good that if you learn the new vocab every day day by day just only word then you would become the treasure of vocabulary so i hope you would do this uh we have our last uh, last point that is conversation with our friend guys go for the conversation if you do not have much time even go for 5 minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes and if you have more time then you can talk to your friend as for 5 hours for 2 hours for 3 hours as you can wish but it's mandatory if you are trying to if you are um, what we can say that if you are trying to become a good english speaker then you must have to communicate with the people because when we communicate there's a very much feelings or emotion which we share with the another person that also come uh, in the uh, in the learning phase in the learning phase of english or in the learning phase of uh, uh, producing or showing ourselves in the public so that would help you i hope this uh, the essence of the story which which i have told you like uh, the six points in your life which will make you good in english first was that speak in english second was that ignore the people third was that don't think about what the people is saying for this 